guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and we are here in Munich celebrating Oktoberfest, the largest beer festival in the world, man. So it's so great to be back here, I'm telling you, like, we're gonna have all the essential tips you guys will need to have the perfect Oktoberfest and hopefully plan your own visit. So yeah, stay tuned because we got tons of useful advice and you guys are gonna love it. So, up gates! Okay, so first a little bit of uh, background information on Oktoberfest actually started in the 1800s with uh, the celebration of the marriage of King Ludwig and Teresa. So there was a huge celebration in this giant yard um, and I guess they just ended up keeping up the tradition. Fun fact, the first Oktoberfest didn't include any beer, but uh, the subsequent years that followed they ended up throwing even bigger and bigger parties, ended up having tons of beer and became the giant beer drinking Oktoberfest that you guys know today. So super interesting, the history of it all. And actually, even though it's called Oktoberfest, it's in September, it just ends the first like week of October. And it goes for two, two weeks basically. So it starts middle September, for us it started September 17th, and it goes all the way to October 3rd. So it's a whole week long series of events uh, it begins the first day with the breaking of the keg uh, and there's tons of other festivities going on throughout the week so we call it the middle of the week so we're gonna check it out see how it is okay, so we just got our leader holes in and so I got the full you know traditional German get up so a little bit on a uh, little bit of information on leader hosen so there's a few options you can do obviously not everyone is wearing them but a large percentage of people around the city are wearing Lederhosen. So if you want to fit in with the rest of the crowd, you gotta get one. So the best options, or there's actually three options you can do for uh, getting Lederhosen. One, you can buy it at home on Amazon. There's a bunch of cheap ones that you can just pick up. Something that you want to just, don't care if you mess up or you don't have to wear more than once. So you just buy a cheap one, you can bring it with you. Um, your second option is you can go downtown, you can buy an actually high quality Lederhosen which they're super awesome, they have really fine materials, but they are very expensive, maybe like 300 minimum for everything, the entire set, so you're gonna have to get shoes. So that's definitely a more expensive option. If you guys wanna keep your leader holes in, it makes for a great souvenir or a lifelong thing if you're into that. Or uh, the third option, which we did, is you can actually just rent them for the day. So we ended up going with the rentals because it's a cheaper the option and you can do one day rental or as many days as you need and you just return it to the spot that you picked it up. Of course, I will have a link to that in the description below. So I think that might be the best option for people traveling light, people trying to save money. It was around 55 euros, something like that, for Dindo and Lederhosen. Um, so if you guys want to do that, it's a great option and you get to enjoy the festivities of the day. So let's get to Oktoberfest. Alright, so if you're headed to the main Oktoberfest area, you're going to have to look for this place called Theresa Weisen. So I'll have it on a map so you guys can see. Check that out. You definitely cannot miss it. There's tons of rides, roller coasters, loud music. I mean, that's where all like the main tents are. So it's definitely the place you're going to have to find all your Oktoberfest activities. So you're not allowed to bring a backpack inside. So right behind there's like this drop-off tent. So I think you pay five euros and you can leave your bag there. So just keep that in mind. If you just don't want to bring a bag and pay euros, leave it at home. Oh, it's sick. Look at all those kegs, man, being pulled by horses and stuff. Yeah, this place is crazy. Like super giant carnival festival. Like it's insane how big it is. There's so many amusement park rides, like candy stalls, like roller coasters. It's so crazy. This is a huge area. So you definitely gonna need a lot of time to explore it. If you're looking for the main event the freaking Oktoberfest tents that look no further than Hopperhau Fest tents. So there's tons of huge tents, beer tents, like which are just giant halls for everyone to drink and they're scattered all over the area so you're gonna have to pick which ones. So I have a small list of those so you can pick for yourself which ones you want to see. Oh man, it is so crazy here. The atmosphere is insane, man. There's like live music. So if you like traditional German music called Schlager, it's a live band playing it. It's freaking awesome, man. And it's just so loud. Everyone like 
cheers when someone goes on the table and chugs a drink. Like, it's so much fun, man. You definitely gotta come and check these tents out, man. Also, you can order food along with your drinks. There's a whole menu of authentic German cuisine to have. Just keep in mind that the plates are enormous, man. The serving size are so huge. Like, I'm always full after eating everything. But they have some great stuff like Sauerblauten, Schnitzel, tons of stuff. So definitely check it out and eat here if you want to. Just make sure to bring cash because they don't take art. So apparently, you can't stand on the tables and chug a beer, even though everyone has done it. Once you do it, they will swarm on you and security will kick you out within seconds. So if you want to chug a beer on the table, then get ready to get kicked out. which is like the authentic freaking German tent, man. You wanna come here? You come here for the best German beer you're gonna find. The Augustiner beer, amazing, man. Yeah, be sure to have cash when you're in the October test tents, obviously, because they're not gonna take card anyway. Plus, you also need to tip at least 10%, so make sure to tip your waitresses or waiters very well, because that's basically what they're getting paid. And if you don't, they won't come back to you. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, just a small thing about uh, 10 reservations. So early in the morning during weekdays when we came, super easy to get in. Like honestly, you could just, people basically drag you to get in. There's so many open free spaces and tables. So you can definitely make it an easy, but once it gets around 4 p.m., 5 p.m., they start kicking you out basically because all the tables are reserved and to make reservations you need to do them online way 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 in advance maybe months in advance for like 10 or more people so you definitely need a large group to make reservations for so it's a little harder for uh, like single people to walk in but they always have free spaces for like uh, unreserved on reservation uh, tables. So you can definitely walk in. It's just a lot harder later in the day. So if you want to make sure you get a tent, come in the weekday during an early hour before 5 p.m. and you should be good. Yeah, most tents are open from 10 a.m. until like 11 p.m. So if you want to make the most of your day, make sure to come in between those times. And yeah, enjoy all the festivities. I know Oktoberfest is all about beer, but if you guys are sick of beer and you want to try some liquor and a party that's a good time, 
try fucking Kaisermann, man. This is one of my favorite beer tents of all time. It's so cool, man. They have tons of drinks, Aperol Spritz, Caipirinha, Brahmi Cokes. Not just beer. So if you want to try some liquor, this is the spot to do it, man. And it's so much fun. Depending on which time you actually go to Oktoberfest, you're gonna have completely different experiences. So throughout the day, it's more like a chill, get to know people, like actually talk to people, like eat and just listen to music, you know. But at nighttime, it turns to like crazy party mode. Everyone's just dancing on tables. There's like lights going everywhere. So it's totally lots. Right, and there you have it. There's our party events at uh, Oktoberfest and all the tips you'll need for a successful trip. So let me know in the comment section below, are you interested in going to Oktoberfest? Or if you've been there and what's your experience? Anyway, it's a super crazy atmosphere. It's like the world's largest freaking carnival and beer party all mixed into one. And honestly, it's just one of the best parties I've ever been to. Even if you don't know German music or whatever, it's just so much fun. The atmosphere is great. You meet tons of awesome people. And there's a lot of cool rides and food to have. So. Yeah, definitely a bucket list item that I'm glad I checked off. So, hope you guys enjoyed the content. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.